As one of the newest members of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, John Oates has a lot to celebrate. He's also busy supporting his latest project, Good Road to Follow, which was released just last month. Now living in Nashville most of the year, John has a lot going on now between the new album and constant touring. But we had a chance to chat with him at the WSM Studios here in Nashville to talk about his new music. Here in the studio this morning, catching up with John Oates from Daryl Hall and John Oates. It is so good to see you. How are you? Nice to see you, Kelly. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Busy man. Oh, Brand new album out. Yeah. What a, I mean, this album, Good Road to Follow, you've been working on it a while, and it's got collaborations with a lot of people. Yes, a lot of amazing people. 99% um, of them in Nashville. Um, a few Few, a few tracks and two tracks in New Orleans and one in Denver with Ryan Tedder. But other than that, it's it's a real Nashville record and with a lot of really close friends, a lot of new friends, a lot of old friends, and it's been a, a real, it was a labor of love. It took about a year and a half to make it. I love it. So talk a little bit about, because you're so busy, you've been out touring Daryl Hall and John Oates, and you were talking to me a little bit earlier about how you guys sort of independently, you've always gone by your own name because you both stand alone as well. So doing this project, went out and did a solo project. Well, we've done solo things over the years, uh, you know, both of us have. And of course, Daryl has his TV show, Live from Daryl's House, which everyone loves. But we've we've always thought of ourselves as two guys who work together. And I know it seems subtle, you know, because the world calls us Hall and Oates, and that's fine. But um, it's, it's it kind of it makes a distinction in my mind, and, and it, it is true because we are two individuals. And uh, we've got different tastes and different things, but we love working together, so it works out fine. Don't need no one to stand alone. Face into the wind, you keep a holding on. Congratulations. Another, I would think, big bucket list. You've uh, just been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in New York. How was that? Another notch on the belt, so to speak. Um, well, you know, we've been eligible since 97. So Daryl and I weren't exactly losing sleep over this, but I'm really glad it happened. Uh, it was an honor, of course, and uh, a cool class of people with Cat Stevens and Linda Ronstadt and Peter Gabriel and Kiss and everything, Nirvana. Uh, it, you know, hey... It, it's it's one of those things where you just feel I think it's like a lifetime achievement award in a way and um, my life's not over yet but I'm really glad we got it. Heaven, heaven, that the crown it's gonna build you up. Oh, it's gonna break you down. It's a heavy hell. This project specifically, Good Road to Follow, I the name. Talk a little bit about that because the emblem here stands for something. Well, the emblem came first. The emblem is an old hobo sign from the 1930s that the um, travelers and you know guys who were on the road would draw in the in the in the dirt, or they would put it on a piece of cardboard, and it was a compass with an arrow, and the arrow would indicate which uh, li train lines to you know ride the rails or which road to take. And I, I, I discovered it, and I thought it kind of in a way it symbolized my life because really my life has been traveling and music and music has taken me to so many incredible journeys and Good Road to Follow became the, the theme of this album uh, because I wanted to go on a musical journey with all with a lot of uh, collaborators. So, so it's, it really came together in a cool way and, and, and I've just been real proud of this and here we go. You're everything I ever need Talk a little bit about having like Vince Gill and Jim Lauderdale and One Republic and then Hot Shell Ray. I mean, all of the people that came together with you to collaborate on this project. Well, I have a lot, I have a very uh, wide range of uh, musical tastes. I love everything from pop music to old, you know, Delta blues to bluegrass to, you know, R&B, whatever. And to me, it's not really all these different categories. It's just music and it's, it's all about good songs and good, good people and good playing. And uh, so that's what I did. I reached out to all kinds of, un you know, what would seem like unusual collaborations, but to me, they make perfect sense. Like the Hot Shell Ray guys, um, you know, Ryan Follisay and Jamie Follisay, they're the sons of Keith and, and Adrian. Sons, you know Keith. Well, Keith was one of the first people I ever wrote a song with in the early 90s in Nashville. And I knew those boys when they were like seven, eight years old. Um, so the getting together now in the studio with them being a hot pop band was great. 
Uh, you know, Vince Gill, of course, you know, who, what, do you, what can you say? You know, one That's of the great, Nashville, yeah. greatest singers and songwriters of all time. And, and to, to record and write a song with Vince in his living room and record in his house, for me, was, you know, just a, a real honor. And he's, he's just such a great, you know, guy on every level. And so the list goes on. Jim Lauderdale's become one of my best friends here. Um, and he and I write together all the time. And uh, he's so hysterically funny and such so so and what I think you know everyone knows Jim for his bluegrass and country but he has really unusual taste too and when we get together the songs we write don't sound like does, doesn't sound like a Jim Lauderdale song it doesn't sound like something I would do it's a, a cool hybrid so every adventure and every collaboration was unique might have got a little crazy baby man I'd fit right in cause if you're gonna lose it Hey, it's now time for another quick little break, but make sure you keep it right here for more Inside Music Row. We're heading back to high school to see how this next artist is promoting music in our schools. Don't go away. <laughs> 